raise your drinks up casually. Raise your drinks, raise your drinks up, raise your drinks up casually. It's the Black Bourbon Family. Hey everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. And we're the Black, Black Bourbon, Bourbon Family. Family. All right, everyone, here is what we're going to do today. We are going to talk about six bourbons that we look to purchase every year. They don't have to be highly allocated, unicorns, very expensive, blah, blah, blah. But it's like when the year begins, you know that these bourbons are gonna be coming out. They could be on the shelves even. So it's not like we gotta wait to get them. Maybe, depending on what it is, or we can just go in the store any day and we can get this bourbon. All right, so a couple of things that I want you all to do is let us know what are the bourbons that you look to purchase every year. Could be highly allocated, could be on the shelf, whatever it is. Also, do us a favor. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram. Share us on Instagram. There we go. <laughs> There you go, Brandy. <laughs> Share us on Instagram. All right, Brandy, so do you want to start first or do you want me to start first? Um, <clears throat> I guess I can start first. Okay, all right. I mean, because it, it deserves to go first. It deserves. It really does. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> if you know me, <laughs> you already know. <laughs> it's one of, you know, one of my, my faves. Mm -hmm. So... The Cigar Blend, mm -hmm. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, mm -hmm. by the one and only Master Blender, Nancy Fraley. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, so this one is batch 95. Mm -hmm. So this is an old batch, Brandy, because they in like 200s now. And we have... <laughs> uh, so. I just killed the bottle. She did. Because he was like, who put this little corner in, in the cabinet? It can't be nothing. <laughs> I've been savoring it. Mm -hmm. You know? And I was like, and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tasted it and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, it's been a minute. Because I, I really do try to savor it. I, I still have... The 100th anniversary. Yeah, the linger. 150th. Oh, 150th. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sorry. 150th um, hanging around as well. Right. It's probably still a corner of that as well. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, yeah. Enough said, right? Enough said. Enough said. All right. There you go. The Magnus Cigar Blend. All right, so my first one, and I don't think these are coming for me, at least. I know that's one of Brandy's favorites. And she always is like, can we get a cigar blend this year? Um, mine may not come in a specific order as far as preference, but it's just what I really look to get at least every year. This is a Four Roses Barrel Strength Single Barrel. You all, so this one specifically is the OESK. It's a 10 year, one month. Coming in at about 115 proof. I really like this. And I've yet to have a bad Four Roses single barrel. I mean, they are very good. Just hits all the different notes. And they come in different profiles too, right? So they're not all the same. But when I look for, when I think about the beginning of the year, I'm like, all right, I gotta get me a Four Roses store pick or barrel strength single barrel so that's the first one that i got and don't forget y'all let us know what your your picks are let's right. get a a lot of communication back and forth in this let's, let's do it mm -hmm. all right so <clears throat> my other one is russell reserve this is store pick mm -hmm. because where we get it from you know he's He's good. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got a good crew. Mm -hmm. And um, they pick some some winners. Some winners. Every time. And this is uh, this is the Camp Nelson one, Brandy. So, oh. so that's a warehouse that everyone wants. They say that's one of the best warehouses. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this one is um, 
actually it's bottled. Ten, oh yeah, go ahead. Um, sorry. in October of twenty three. So well, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's another one of my faves. Um, we got a couple bottles, I'm sure, but still need the I need the one for this year. So, right. So. <laughs> Yeah, um, can't have too many. Right. All right. So Russell. <laughs> uh, hey, she tells the truth. <laughs> All right. So my next one is Old Forester. Always an old forester. Always <laughs> an old forester. If you all watch some of our early, early videos, old forester nineteen twenty, I always talked about. <laughs> this one is a single barrel. Again, um, they vary from warehouses. They vary in proof and age and things like that. But at the beginning of each year, I'm like, I gotta find me an old forester single barrel barrel strain. It's just good. Some have different profiles depending on where they came from in terms of the warehouse and stuff, but they just always hit my palate the right way, Brandy. And as a matter of fact, Brandy, I know you poured you a uh, cigar blend. My little corner. <laughs> I'm gonna pour me a little bit of this old Forester. All right, I'm sorry. It's just, I had to. That's more than a little bit, but yeah, it was. okay. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, copper and class, right? But I have a, the rye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I like, again, I, I said, you know, a couple videos ago, mm -hmm. I am a fan. Fan, fan, fan. You're not just a fan, Brandy. You are a huge fan. <laughs> let's, just, let's just put it out there. She's saying, I'm a fan. I'm fan. No, no, no. Because anytime I come in, did Copper and Cask have anything? Was there any new thing, anything new with Copper and Cask? Yeah, I'm just gonna tell the people. I'm telling the truth. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I interrupted. You. No, no, you, you. That's fine. You, you <laughs> help me out because as you normally do. Um, but yeah, this one is is this one in particular. Mm -hmm. I've been, you know, I think I've been sipping on this one. I don't know how much Jason actually dives into this one but it sits up in the corner on, in the cabinet in one of his little hidden spots how is it here <clears> and <throat> she's sipping on it because it's up high mm, but it's, okay. it's it's in the right spot because <laughs> <laughs> i don't need a chair to get up there so <laughs> um but yeah this the the straight rye whiskey is this one um very good very good mm -hmm. And Copper and Cash, remember we put the invitation out there. If y'all want to come on the show, just let us know. We we got you. Our calendars are flexible. All right, Brandy. So, so my last one is one John that Jacob Jingle Honor Smith. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, keep going. What's the rest of the song? His name is my name too. <laughs> Whenever we go out. The people always shout. They say, John Jacob Jingle on his feet. Da, 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 da. Go ahead. This will show up in not only this video, but in the <laughs> blooper reel that I will put together one day. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So with that great introduction, let me just tell you what it is. John J. Bowman, 100 proof single barrel. Sorry, every time I see John J. Bo, that song comes in my head. And I have no clue what that song is. But Wow. Mm-hmm. Where were you in your childhood? Mm. Drinking bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is John J. Bowman. Hundred proof single barrel. It's just one of those ones where uh, I look forward to getting it. This is an older version bottle. The new bottles, uh, which we have as well, has a green label. <laughs> has a green label on the front. Um, but yeah, I mean, they are very, very good, and I just look forward to getting one at least one per year, if not two. 
if Brandy keeps singing a song, I'm gonna just keep buying them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll stop her from singing this song. I'm just saying. Oh, I gotta gosh. do something, y'all. <laughs> all right. So again, you all, <laughs> we hope you enjoy our selections. And of course, here's the other thing. We know that the number of bourbons could keep going on and on and on. And we didn't want to just make this huge list. We wanted to give, give you some ones that we feel when the year begins, we're like, all right, I got to get this bourbon because it's something that I enjoy. I look forward to every year. Doesn't have to be super allocated, um, high price and all that type of stuff. We just look forward to it. So this is our list. Um, and again, let us know what your list is, right? Right. All right, let me get out of here before Brandy starts singing again. Thanks for joining us. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the <laughs> channel. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. And we'll talk to you next time with no singing involved. John Jacob, Jingle on Oh, cheers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>